Subscribe to my channel Medicine Guide. What are benefits of fusidic acid cream and fusidic acid oint? Fusidic acid cream. Fusidin cream, brand name. Fusidic acid oint. Sodium fusidate topical. Fusidin oint, brand name. Function of fusidic acid. Fusidic acid belongs to a class of medications known as antibiotics. It is used to treat various skin infections caused by certain kinds of bacteria. Such infections may include impetigo and secondary infections, infections that develop after the skin has been injured, to burns or broken skin. Do not give this medication to anyone else, even if they have the same symptoms as you do. It can be harmful for people to use this medication if their doctor has not prescribed it. What are contents of fusidic acid cream and oint? Fusidic acid 2% in a cream base. Sodium fusidate 2% in a oint base. How to use this medicine? Apply a small amount to the affected area 2 to 3 times daily for 7 to 14 days. If your doctor has directed you to cover the lesion with a gauze dressing, you may be directed to apply the medication only 1 or 2 times daily. Take care to avoid the eyes if the medication is being applied to the face. It is important to use this medication exactly as prescribed by your doctor. If you forget to apply this medication, apply it as soon as you remember. If it is almost time for your next application, skip the missed dose and continue with your regular schedule. Do not apply a double dose to make up for a missed one. If you are not sure what to do after missing a dose, contact your doctor or pharmacist for advice. Store this medication at room temperature and keep it out of the reach of children. Discard this medication within three months of opening the tube. Fusidic acid or sodium fusidate topical products should not be used by anyone who is allergic to fusidic acid and its salts or to any of the ingredients of this medication. Is allergic to lanolin, for the ointment form only. What side effects are possible with this medication? Many medications can cause side effects. A side effect is an unwanted response to a medication when it is taken in normal doses. Side effects can be mild or severe, temporary or permanent. The side effects listed below are not experienced by everyone who takes this medication. If you are concerned about side effects, discuss the risks and benefits of this medication with your doctor. The following side effects have been reported by at least 1% of people taking this medication. Many of these side effects can be managed, and some may go away on their own over time. Contact your doctor if you experience these side effects and they are severe or bothersome. Your pharmacist may be able to advise you on managing side effects. Allergic reaction at the site of application, including redness, hives, swelling, rash, and or itching. Mild irritation at area of application. Pain, only when medication is applied to deep leg ulcers. Skin blistering. Symptoms of an eye infection, e.g., pink or red eyes, itchy eyes, eye discharge, crusts on the eyelids or lashes. Stop taking the medication and seek immediate medical attention if any of the following occur. Signs of a serious allergic reaction, e.g., abdominal cramps. Difficulty breathing. Nausea and vomiting.
or swelling of the face and throat. Some people may experience side effects other than those listed. Check with your doctor if you notice any symptom that worries you while you are taking this medication. Before you begin using a medication, be sure to inform your doctor of any medical conditions or allergies you may have, any medications you are taking, whether you are pregnant or breastfeeding, and any other significant facts about your health. These factors may affect how you should use this medication. Organism overgrowth. The use of antibiotics applied to the skin occasionally allows organisms that are not killed by the antibiotic to grow to large numbers. Overgrowth. If the infection does not improve within a few days or seems to get worse at any time, contact your doctor. Do not use this medication for longer than 14 days. Severe skin infections, or infections that do not appear to heal with the use of a topical, skin-applied, medication, should be treated with a systemic, oral or injectable, antibiotic in addition to or instead of a topical medication. Pregnancy. This medication should not be used during pregnancy unless the benefits outweigh the risks. If you become pregnant while taking this medication, contact your doctor immediately. Breastfeeding. This medication may pass into breast milk. If you are a breastfeeding mother and are using fusidic acid, it may affect your baby. Talk to your doctor about whether you should continue breastfeeding. Interactions. Tell your doctor or prescriber about all prescription, over-the-counter, non-prescription, and herbal medications that you are taking. Also tell them about any supplements you take. Since caffeine, alcohol, the nicotine from cigarettes, or street drugs can affect the action of many medications, you should let your prescriber know if you use them. Depending on your specific circumstances, your doctor may want you to Stop taking one of the medications. Change one of the medications to another. Change how you are taking one or both of the medications, or Leave everything as is. An interaction between two medications does not always mean that you must stop taking one of them. Speak to your doctor about how any drug interactions are being managed or should be managed. Disclaimer. The contents herein are for informational purposes only. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel Medicine Guide.